All right, so today I'll be going over um, Black Athletes for Social Justice. All right, Black Athletes Who Changed the World. So for a little bit, I'm just going to be doing basically basically just, um, you know, some old age era athletes who basically changed the world because black people in general, but also black athletes have been discriminated for such a long time. They weren't really allowed on the same basketball courts and playing fields as white people. But fortunately, we've had some African-Americans who overcame racial slurs and death threats and focused on making the sports world a better place. All right, first we got Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson was basically the Muhammad Ali of his time period, 1878 to 1946. He spent a lot of his time fighting in the 1920s but sources show that he only holds nine wins and three losses. Johnson had won at least 50 fights against white and black opponents and also defended the colored heavyweight, heavyweight title 17 times in his career. He's also had multiple people announce that they didn't want to fight him and retired before having to fight him just because he was that good, that strong. He had people scared, so... And next we have Althea Gibson, 1927-2003. Gibson was an American tennis player and the very first African-American female tennis superstar. Even though her tennis play outside outshined everything else, Althea was a professional golfer as well, which most people don't really know. I had to do a lot of searching for that. Um, in 1956, she was the first African-American to win the Grand Slam championship. The next year after that, she won both the Wimbledon and the U.S. Nationals. Gibson inspired many tennis players, male and female, white and black, uh, to play the sport of tennis. Most most people probably know Serena Williams. That's who Serena looked up looked up to the most. Gibson was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame and the International Women's Sports Hall of Fame. She inspired many, including greats Serena and Venus Williams. Jackie Joyner Kersey, 1962 to 2021. Kersey's an East St. Louis native and known as one of the greatest track and field athletes of all time, male or female. It's oftentimes seen that she's beat male opponents in a race as well, and people still believe that she is faster than most men. That run to this day, and obviously that ran back then in her time. What's so amazing about her success is that Kersey was also heavily asthmatic and was heavily asth asthmatic throughout the time in her career and is still heavily asthmatic. So the success she had, you know, playing a sport that caused a lot of running, a lot of jumping was pretty outstanding. She won three gold medals, one silver and two bronze Olympic medals. In long jump, her play in social justice is huge with her being an active philanthropist in children's education, racial equality, and women's rights. Kersey also has basically a family tree of runners and athletes in her family. Next, we have New Age Athletes of Social Justice. So we'll be going over Serena Williams, Jalen Brown, then, of course, LeBron James. All right, so Serena, American tennis great, 22 Grand Slams, most for both men and women in this era. It's often believed that Serena is even better than a lot of men that play the sport. Men don't like to hear that, but that's what sources say. Uh, she's won the U.S. Open, French Open, Wimbledon, and the Australian, and she's also an Australian Open champion. Serena has been a heavy supporter on women's rights, women's rights in general, and especially women's rights in her sport of tennis, oftentimes calling out acts of sexism and discrimination in her sport. Williams also heavily speaks, speaks about the double standards and the gender pay gap that female athletes experience, oftentimes making statements like, I think we've made really big steps, but also think we've got a really long way to go just across the board. Whether you're thinking of tennis, soccer, or basketball, there's so much space to improve on. So she oftentimes talks about women of all ages experiencing sexism in their sports or their jobs or whatever they do. And she basically just wants a change for it. Next, we have Jalen Brown. He's a rising basketball star. 
Um, Brown has been probably one of the most loud and heard of voices when it comes to speaking out on racial justice in the Black Lives Matter movement. This past summer, which people might not know of, Jalen Brown drove 15 hours from Boston back to his hometown in Atlanta just to be one of the lead voices in a peaceful Black Lives Matter protest. He was also met by other NBA players like Malcolm Brogdon, the, uh, in the Pacers starting point guard. Brown even stated, being a celebrity, being an NBA player doesn't exclude me from no conversation at all. First and foremost, I'm a black man and a member of this community. We're raising awareness for some of the injustices we've been seeing and it's not okay. He often speaks out a lot on you know racial injustices that he sees in the NBA as well by you know commissioners and GMs and stuff like that and stuff that he sees that you know him and his teammates really don't agree with but he's been probably one of the most to speak out on it on it a lot LeBron James we've got 17 time NBA all-star four time NBA champion and he's had 10 finals appearances LeBron when it comes to LeBron he's really passionate when it comes to LeBron, he's really passionate about, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement and dealing with racism in the world and especially in the sport of basketball. He's done a lot for the black community on racial justice, social justice, and just racism, period. At the NBA restart in the bubble, he spoke out a lot about the murder of Breonna Taylor and others this past summer. I want to continue to shed light on justice for Breonna Taylor and her family and everything that's going on with that situation. This is what he stated at a conference at the restart of the of the NBA bubble this past summer. He then spoke out on how he feels every single Louisville police officer involved in that situation should be fired and arrested, which Brianna still unfortunately didn't really get the justice that the world feels that she deserves.